I've been slacking, finally getting around to making this video. This is the results from the DIY head porting or porting at home video that I did on the 3400 heads. Before we get into this, I'll just give you a refresher of where we started. So this is the intake port here. This is basically what we started with. This is the same casting number head as the one that I ported and did the flow testing on. That's how the intake port started out. And this is what we ended up with. Just a quick cleanup. Check out the video, see what it, what all I did. I didn't do a whole lot, just uh, kind of blended the bowl in some. Didn't go too crazy. Cleaned up the short turn. We also took out some of the rocker stud boss there. And we also cleaned up the, the chambers just a little bit. All right, here's the flow numbers. You can see the results here, what we started with on the left and what we finished with on the right. Uh, it was a pretty nice gain, picked up all across the board. Uh, it's not bad for just a little bit of work. The best part is you guys can do this at home. Now we also uh, did try the 3500 valve in there after it was ported, and I'll get to those results next. Here's the results from the 3500 intake valve after the porting work. Uh, just a reminder, I did not do a valve job after, but the valve seats weren't too bad on these heads to start with, so um, valve job might change these a little, but uh, it wasn't too bad in the upper range, up above four from 450 on. We picked up a little bit, and we even lost one CFM at 200. Other than that, it was pretty much no change. Probably still wouldn't hurt just to run the 3500 intake valves anyways. It is a lighter valve than the 3400 valve. Uh, and for what they cost, it's probably not a bad idea just to throw those in while you're there. Here is a refresher on the exhaust port where we started. A little bit of a ridge on the inside of the bowl. See if we can get a good look at the short turn here. Basically cleaned up the short turn. I didn't really touch the guides at all. And this is the stock port that we're starting with. Okay, and now I'll move on to the ported head and give you guys a look at uh, the port work that was done on them. All right, here's the porting that we did on the, the exhaust side. Just cleaned up the bowl some. Cleaned up the short turn. Then I slightly raised the roof on the port outlet and kind of straightened the wall out a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Gave it a polish. Uh, just kept it simple on the exhaust side there. So we picked up pretty good on the exhaust side here. Did not have to do too much to get some decent gains. Uh, I did test out the 3500 valve as well, and we will get to that next. And here is the 3500 valve. Uh, it also helped out as well over what the 3400 valve did. So it's a good idea to install the 3500 exhaust valve while your heads are apart. For the cost of the valve and the gain in CFM, uh, I'd say it's a good idea to at least do the 3500 exhaust valve if you're going to do one or the other. I would suggest uh, saving up a couple extra bucks and spend them on the new 3500 exhaust valves. So the flow uh, numbers were pretty decent for just a little bit of work that we did on these. It's pretty simple stuff you guys can do at home. I'm thinking of maybe trying these on the Grand Am, since originally I was going to try them on the Alero. But uh, the Alero has since been replaced by the Grand Am. And the intake gasket's leaking on my Grand Am right now, so... That'd be a good idea to change the head gaskets while I'm in there. And then I don't have to worry about them later. Ideally, I'd like to try dyno testing these before and after. Uh, I'm not sure I'd be able to do that at this time, but uh, worst case, I'll be able to get uh, before and after track numbers. Uh, that way you can get an idea of horsepower increase from your trap speed in the quarter mile. Um, before and after just gives you a rough idea of how much more power it's making. Let me know what you think I should do with these, if I should uh, try them on the Grand Am or save them for another project. But uh, right now they're kind of looking like they'll, they'll end up on the Grand Am, so 
Let me know in the comments what you think I should do with them. And we'll go from there. So that's uh, it for this one. Hope this helps you guys out. Um, maybe more of you guys will want to try doing some porting at home and uh, pick up some horsepower. So until the next one, thanks for watching.